Peace. I had a moment to just share this with you. I'm headed out back into the community to just make contact with the voters leading up to our general election November 5th. And I wanted to just elaborate a little bit on something that I've recognized by being out in this community as well as seeing some of the same thing going on in communities around the country. And one thing I've noticed is that whenever you see a community being neglected and deteriorating on the watch of public officials, a lot of times that's simply because these public officials have a granny apple mentality. And what do I mean by granny apple mentality? Well, a granny apple mentality is this. Imagine you've hired someone to work in a giant apple orchard. Now, in this apple orchard, you have various different type of trees in that orchard. But at the same time, the person you've hired, their job description says, pick granny apples. A lot of times the people that we elect for public office they look at that position as a specific job description when it comes down to going above and beyond that or doing anything outside of what they're getting paid to do as that elected official they're not doing it it's no different than a person being hired to work in an apple orchard and they walk past every other tree you see concerns over here, you see issues over there, people need guidance over this way, they need direction over there. They will walk past everything just to get to that granny apple tree and pick those apples. And then a lot of the times they're not even competent enough to do that job well. So that's one of the reasons that we often see a lot of our communities deteriorating and neglected because some public officials simply look at areas of that community like that's not their job so if it's not their job it's not their concern if it's not their concern they're not getting paid for it so why should I even be interested in entertaining the people that this problem is affecting it's the same way with people I've seen out in the community that's running for public office they may only talk to people they know who are registered voters they won't waste any time talking to people who are felons people who may not vote because it's their religious beliefs people that are children they can't vote sometimes candidates ignore all of them <laughs> simply because they have this granny apple mentality if it's not a part of their job description or if they're not getting something out of it they're not gonna do it you know and unfortunately we've elected people in positions to represent our needs expecting them to go above and beyond that call of duty to address these issues in a community that are as various and has much a variety as the various different apple trees in an orchard, and then we turn around and be dis and get dissatisfied about the lack of of performance on the part of these people that we put in those positions. You know, so one of the things that I see we can do to resolve this is first and foremost we have to be more informed about what people have been willing and able to do just as everyday citizens first because we're all everyday citizens first regardless of what industry we're working in regardless of what our job title is regardless of what our religion is regardless of our ethnicity we're all everyday citizens first and what a person is willing and able to do in that capacity gives you a good assessment of their character of their level of integrity, of their qualities and their virtues that they bring to any position that you put them in, whether they're running for public office or whether they're working in trades programs or whether they're unemployed, you have to assess what a person is first and foremost because they bring that character and those qualities with them to any position that they go into. A lot of the things that I posted on my Facebook page, that I posted on my other social networks that you see me posting on my YouTube channel, these are things that I've always done in the capacity of an everyday citizen first. Not because I'm getting paid for it or it's a job that I'm reporting to that some boss is cutting me a check for, or because, you know, I'm affiliated with some club or organization that requires me to do these things. No, this is how I live. You know, so making an assessment of a person of how they live, you know what they're going to bring to a table and what they have the potential and possibility to do, regardless of what position they've been. Those of you who've been following my YouTube channel for years now, 
all of the things that I've been doing consistently over this period of time, I've worked in various different industries. I've literally had different jobs all throughout the course of this time, but not once have you seen me stray away from the things that I've been consistently doing because this is how I live. And it's the same way with being elected to a public office, with not being elected to a public office, with working over here, working over there. You will always see me doing these things because this is how I live. Those of you who are going to be voting this year or voting in any election year, you have to be sure about the people who you're striving to put in these positions. Because once you do a clear assessment of the things that they've been willing and able to do as everyday citizens first, you may really find out that you are a lot more qualified to serve the needs of your community and represent the needs of your people than the people that you're elected in those positions because you're doing a lot more as an everyday citizen than what they have ever done. You know, sometimes, like I said, you have people who are only going to do what is a part of their job description. If you're expecting anything above and beyond that, then you're going to be out of luck. You know, they'll tell you it's not my job. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. I'm not getting paid for it. Or whatever else they'll tell you to let you know that I'm not going to do it. And these are people that we don't need in public office to represent the needs of the people. Because this is what we're going to consistently see in our communities. We're going to see these communities being neglected. Because some people don't work on Sundays. You know, you're going to continue to see the communities deteriorate because the organization or club that they're affiliated with is not getting any type of publicity or notoriety. So they don't want nothing to do with it. You don't need people in positions like that because things are not going to get done. So with that said, I hope this was inspiring. It was empowering. It was educating for those of you who not only are going to be voting this election year or any election year, but also if you're working in different industries and you're even interviewing co candidates for a position to be a part of your team, you need to know what type of people they are first. Not just necessarily what they're able and willing to do within the confines of their limited job description because... When it comes down to it, there's a lot of other things that will get neglected if they're not getting paid for it. If it's not in their job description, if their club or affiliation that they're affiliated with is not getting no, no, no publicity and notoriety. So those are the things I just wanted to share. So I will that y'all have a positive day and peace.